to the 48th annual Cashers Christmas Parade. We are here in Cashers, North Carolina, at the center of town here at the crossroads, and so excited for this year's parade. Uh, my name is Drew English, and this is Sarah Jennings, and we're going to be your MCs this year for the parade, uh, which will soon be coming down Highway 107, and we're just so excited to be here. I am thrilled to be here with Drew, and we are so excited for this year's parade. We want to say a special thank you to the Cashers Area Chamber of Commerce for putting on the parade year after year. Uh, this year is, of course, a little different. Yeah, um, as many of you know, uh, we lost a dear member of our community this past week. Uh, Thomas Tolby, who was uh, our fearless leader of the chamber, passed away unexpectedly on Sunday. Um, so this year has a very special meaning for all of us. And uh, I think it's clear to say that this parade will be in his honor this year. Absolutely. We are thrilled to honor Thomas today. And one of the things that he was most excited about this Very year excited. was the fact that we actually have a grand marshal, probably for the first time in, in the history of the Cashers Christmas Parade. Uh, Mary Kay Andrews is our, our grand marshal today. She is a noted uh, uh, novelist. She is a New York Times best-selling author, and uh, this is actually going to be her last stop on her um, book tour. So yeah. we're thrilled to have her Super as excited. our grand marshal today. Uh, Mary Kay Andrews, as many of you know, uh, is best known for her holiday books such as The Santa Suit, um, as well as um, many other uh, no, nine New York Times mm -hmm. best-selling books. And Hello Summer. Hello Summer. The Newcomer. She's got quite the fan base. Yeah. And we're so excited to have her and just honored that she's going to be our Grand Marshal this year. So uh, with that said, we're going to pass it over to Mary Kay Andrews. So I'm Ann Self, and I'm here at the Village Green with uh, Mary, best, New York Times bestselling author Mary Kay Andrews, who is the Grand Marshal for this year's 48th Annual Cashers Christmas Parade. Welcome, Mary Kay. Thank you, Anne. I'm so happy to be here. Well, we're delighted to have you. Uh, Mary Kay's newest um, and latest bestseller, Bright Lights, Big Christmas, is also the theme for this year's parade. So we'd love for you to tell us about your book. Well, Bright Lights, Big Christmas starts in the mountains of Western North Carolina at a Christmas tree farm. Um, my character, Carrie's family, have been growing Christmas trees for three generations, and for about 40 years, every year, the day after Thanksgiving, they load up a load of trees and their vintage camper, and they take them up to um, a corner of the West Village in New York City, and they sell trees until Christmas Eve, and so the story is about um, Carrie Tolliver. This year, her father can't go sell trees, so she sort of gets guilt-tripped into going with her gruff... Um, not very, not very extroverted older brother, Murphy, and his dog, Queenie. And they live in this trailer in a camper, really, for the month and um, sell Christmas trees. The camper doesn't have electricity or heat or plumbing. So the neighborhood in the village sort of adopt Carrie and her brother, Murphy, and Queenie. And um, there's a love story, and there's sort of a a little mystery, but it's a story about um, finding family and finding acceptance and love. That's wonderful. So this is your fifth Christmas yeah. book, and so they're all wonderful. Right. I've read them, and I would be interested to know what, what are the secret ingredients, the secret sauce that makes a great Christmas story? Um, I think it's a, a theme of kindness. Yeah and um, whimsy, and um, of course it doesn't hurt to have some Christmas music and snow. I wrote, um, I wrote two books that, well no, the last two, Santa Suit and Bright Lights Big Christmas, are set in the mountains of North Carolina, so they have snow, and then in New York there's a lot of snow. But I wrote one, uh, two set in Savannah where there's a rare snowfall in Savannah on Christmas, but um, so snow and I think um, a theme of kindness and found family and belonging and um, and happiness, yeah, That's and cool. hope. This is a book about hope. I want all my books 
to have a, a hopeful ending. Well, it is really a wonderful, warm, heartwarming Thank you. Um, holiday book that I certainly enjoyed and I know other readers are enjoying and will enjoy. I hope so. Um, you mentioned that, that you, Carrie and the fictional Tolliver family are from the Western North Carolina mountains, right. where we are right now, um, amongst Christmas tree farms. What was it specifically that drew you to the North Carolina mountains and to Christmas tree farming? Well, I have a friend who has a mountain house from Raleigh in West Jefferson. And I knew through my research that that's the biggest Christmas tree growing county in North Carolina, which is the second biggest tree growing state in the country. And so um, my friend had a, had a friend who, um, he's retired from growing trees now, but he had a tree business for many years, had, and he still has his farm. He doesn't sell his trees anymore. And um, so I went to talk to him about all the things involved when growing Christmas trees and how long it takes for a Christmas tree to reach enough maturity that you can cut it. And, um, and so, you know, there's always, um, there's always facts in the books. I mean, the books are obviously fiction, but um, I need there to be some truth there. And so, um, and then I went to um, Greenwich Village at Christmas two years ago and interviewed the, fa the family that the story was inspired by. It, say a little bit about that because that's a fun story too. Yeah, I read a story a few years ago about a family from Vermont. Um, the patriarch's name is Billy Romp. And um, so when I got this, when I, as soon as I read that story about the neighbors taking taking the family in and helping them. Um, I thought, okay, that's a Christmas book. So two years ago, um, my literary agent went to the village and found the romps. They still, every year, go and sell their trees. They live in their little camper. And the neighbors, um, they run an extension cord from a little bakery across the street, over the street, and into the trailer so that they can have some electricity. Neighbors drop off the keys to their apartment so that they can shower and, and do a load of laundry and use the bathroom. And um, while I was there interviewing Billy Romp, uh, people kept coming by and saying, hey, Billy, we've missed you. How's the family? And, um, and he was part of that community. And they really, um, we met people who were coming to buy their trees, and they said, oh, we would never consider not buying a tree from Billy when he gets here. So, you know, um, that was a big part of the story. Now, my story is pretty different because Billy doesn't grow trees. They buy trees from a... Um, Christmas tree broker. Who knew? No, yeah, who knew? <laughs> so, um, and, and my story is very different, but when he, he started going with his family, he and his then wife and two kids lived in that camper, that little tiny camper, four people. And of course, I think, um, maybe the former Mrs. Romp got fed up with living in a camper, <laughs> but he still comes to New York. He brings his adult son and his grandson and his nephew. So the four men live in that trailer for the month and sell those trees. It is, Christmas tree farming really is a legacy, and people, yeah. I don't think, realize that it's a lot of work. It really is. It and really is. So much can go wrong. I mean, if there's a if there's a late freeze mm -hmm. um, or if there's too much water um, and the roots, you know, can get, can rot and, you know, there's a lot of things. And, of course, land's so expensive, it's really expensive for Christmas tree farmers to keep doing it. You're right. Well, that's the big reason that you're our Grand Marshal this year is because you highlight um, an industry that's very important for this community. Yeah. And so we're delighted to have you. Can you tell us where people can find you on social media and other yeah. places? Yeah. Um, they can find me at MaryKAndrews.com is my website. And I'm on Facebook and I'm on Instagram as Mary Kay Andrews. And, um, you know, I'm part of a Wednesday night huge community of readers and authors called Friends in Fiction. And we have, um, for three and a half years, we do a Wednesday night um, live webcast talking about books and authors. And our Facebook community, it's, face, it's Friends in Fiction on Facebook, we have like 260,000 members in that yeah. community. So I'm a little bit all over the place. Yes, you are. Well, we're glad you're here this weekend. I'm happy to be here too. So you know that this week, we lost a beloved friend and member of the Cashers community, Thomas Talby. Um, he was a big, bright light 
And the parade this year is dedicated in his memory. Oh, that's so sweet. So, uh, Bright Lights and Big Christmas, uh, Bright Lights and Big Christmas, as you have mentioned, is very much about the importance of family and friends and community, which were Thomas's core values. Yeah, and loyalty. And loyalty, 100%. So, um, with that being said, I'm going to send this back to Sarah Jennings and Drew English so that we can get this Bright Lights Big Christmas parade on the road. Let's roll. Let's roll. All right. How's everybody doing? Merry Christmas. Welcome to the 48th annual Cashers Christmas Parade here in beautiful downtown Cashers, North Carolina. It's ex it's exceptionally beautiful today, isn't it? Gorgeous day. Beautiful. It's an absolutely gorgeous day here at the Crossroads. My name is Drew English, and this is Sarah Jennings, and we're going to be your MCs for the day. And uh, we just want to big, give a, a great big shout out to Jackson County Sheriff's Department, who's coming through the crossroads right now, for all their leadership and coordination of today's parade. Let's give them a big round of applause. We want to thank everybody for coming out today uh, to be able to celebrate this beautiful tradition we have here in Cashers of the Cashers Christmas Parade. So thank you for bearing with this weather. And another big thank you to Blue Ridge Public Safety. This is an unusual uh, parade this year. We, we, of course, unfortunately had the untimely passing of our director of the Cashers Area Chamber this week. And this Christmas parade is in his honor. And because of that, you will see that his car which was very, very recognizable around town, is leading us off today. It really is special. This one's for you, Thomas. You know, Thomas was such an inspiration to so many people in this community, and we're just devastated for his loss, but what a wonderful tribute that this parade will always be. And we can't thank his family enough for being here. And uh, our interim at the chamber is uh, Susan, Susan Gregory, Gregory, who so, is coming through now and driving for us. So Susan has really been amazing this week in taking uh, on this task, which was really Thomas's baby. Thank you to Daryl for driving oh, Thomas's thanks, car today. Thank you, Daryl. And as we officially kick off the parade, it would not be the Cashers Christmas Parade without our very own Mrs. Claus. Hello, Mrs. Claus. Merry Christmas. Thank you for being here. Merry Christmas. All right, Sarah, our first group coming through is the Rosman High School Marching Tigers. The Rosman Marching Band has been with us uh, for over 10 years yeah, now, I think. Yeah, over 10 years. And we appreciate them coming up the mountain every year to give us the mighty sounds of the Rosman Marching Band. The Rosman Band uh, recently placed fourth place in the 3A uh, classification at the Cedar Cliffs Classic Marching Band Competition. And in a couple weeks, they're heading down to Disney World to perform for the second time at Walt Disney World in their marching band competition. of over 50 students in grades 8 through 12. Thank you so much, Rosman Man. Thanks, Rosman Man. All right, next up, we have our Grand Marshal, Mary Kay Andrews. You know, it's so special to have an a actual Grand Marshal of the parade this year, Sarah. It is. That's unusual for us. Uh, but Mary so Kay, Mary Kay is, is, here, 
and Mary Kay is here to promote and celebrate her new book, Bright Lights, Big Christmas, which debuted on at number nine on the New York Times bestsellers list. And we're just honored to have her here in town. Thanks for being here, Mary Kay. Thank you, Mary Kay, for being here. How cool is that fire truck? I love a good antique fire truck. Next up is one of our very first recipients of a Spirit Up Community Award. We have our Citizen of the Year, Mark and Brandy Letson. Yay, Mark and Brandy. Mark and Brandy. Mark and Brandy are the owners of uh, Cashers Valley Pharmacy, and Mark has been serving on several boards in the area, including the Cashers Small Business Area Plan, Cashers Ca Planning Council, excuse me, Jackson County Planning, uh, Jackson County Economic Development, and is on the Board of Trustees for Summit Charter School. Yes, he is, and he was very kind during the award ceremony to also recognize his wonderful wife, Brandy, as she is also our Citizen of the Year, who she represents the Chamber of Commerce as well as the Village Green, and they are wonderful citizens of our community, and this year they are Citizens of the Year. Congratulations! Congratulations. Thank you both. All right, Sarah, next up, we've got oh, Cashers Valley guys. Real Estate. We've got Cashers Valley Real Estate offering our candy bags for the year. Because obviously, kids that are here for the parade are uh, look, here to watch the floats, right, Drew? Yeah, and to get a lot of candy. And get all a lot the candy. Of candy. Get all the candy. It's like Halloween uh -huh. 2.0. Why, thank you, Philip Bradley, for my candy bags. Much appreciated. Thank you, CVRE. Next up, we have Dillard Jones and... Tribus coming through the crossroads. Diller Jones is a local builder here in Cashers, and Tribus is an interior design firm. A very festive float with looks like maybe some of our local trees from some of our local tree farms. They are beautiful. Uh huh. Thank you, Diller Thank Jones you, and Tribus. Thank you, Diller Jones. All right, next up. We got All right, it looks our, like next we have the Poodle Rescue. Oh, our it's Florida, the Florida Poodle, Poodle Rescue. Rescue. With their float, visions of poodles dancing in your head. Their poodles are racing to help Santa get gifts to all the children and poodles around the world. Since the creation of the Florida Poodle Rescue in 1994, they have found homes for over 10 thousand poodles and poodle wannabes. They provide professional veterinary care including spay and neuter as well as uh, behavioral and rehabilitation training. Their Christmas list for 2024, what they're asking Santa for is for stricter, uh, stricter laws for prevention of animal cruelty and for less dogs and poodles to lose their home. As Bob Barker would say, have your pets spayed and neutered. Spayed and neutered. Next up, we have Blue Ridge Early College. Yay, Blue Ridge! Blue Ridge Early College <coughs> welcomes the, oh, is this the home, no, homecoming court is next, so we're going, we're going a little early. So this, this, this is, is all I want for Christmas is some Bobcat, Bobcat spirit. spirit. Bobcat. Woohoo! And we have got the band and the newly formed Spirit Squad. Is that right? Which is coached by Kendra Presley and Danielle Rice. This is new to the to the Blue Ridge Early College. Their float fe features students from the school's music program, along with Blue Ridge Spirit Squad. The band is also directed by Sarah and Greg Hall. Next is the Blue Ridge Homecoming Court. Yeah. 
Blue Ridge Early College is their high school of homecoming uh, court and the members of, of the homecoming court. They didn't send us any information, so it's all right. All right. Ethan Henson, Hayden Hitchcock, Gustavo Morales, Eric. Leave. <laughs> Thank you, Blue Ridge Junior Reps. Roofing. Next up, Roman's Roofing in an antique vehicle. Oh, I like that. Uh, that's amazing. Thank you to Roman's Roofing. Tell us about the car. It's 1931. All right, next up, Sarah, we've got the Bascom coming through. With their float named Untitled. On purpose. On purpose. For 30 years, the Bascom has created visual art experiences and inspired and empowered individuals and communities through seeing, thinking, and doing. Each year, the Bascom reaches over 25,000 visitors, and over 500 of those take classes in either ceramics, drawing, and painting. The Bascom is a free admissions organization, and they invite everyone to visit their galleries and retail shop or come get your creative hands dirty in their studios. N next, we have Paws from Western Carolina University. Thanks for being here, Paws. Behind them, we've got some dancing trees from Summit Charter School. Summit Charter School is a local public tuition-free charter school serving 300 students. They have their Check. float, Check. which is actually Check. themed after Mary Kay Andrews' book, Bright Lights, Big Christmas. Their float is, puts the big in Big Christmas. Summit's float features scenes from... I'd say it's pretty big, considering that Huge Peterbilt truck. With scenes from the New York skyline, a Christmas tree farm, uh, sales lot, and lastly, since they're a school, you know they have a love of reading with the Christmas classics. Go Bears! Go Bears! Hey, you know, you know, you know what I like. All right. Behind the Peterbilt is the Summit Charter School High School Homecoming uh, Court. Starting off, we have freshman representatives. Frankie Marquina and Campbell Bonner. Behind them is sophomores Chance Wilson and Chloe Woods. Then junior representative Alex Ceballos, Jonathan Perez, Kira Mathis, and Olive Knopf. Their senior representatives are Gio Cortez, ja Jasmine Barranco, Eduardo Tepepa, Christina McDonald, Eduardo Marquina, Sarah Betty, Zimmerman Boswell, and Kayla Lee. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Summit Charter School. Summit Charter School is also in the midst of building a new high school for these students, so we're super excited about the future of Summit. Thank you, Summit Homecoming Court. Look at that car. I love that. Oh, that's a that's a high hiker. All right. I think coming up next we have Zoller Hardware and Cashers Electric Supply. With their take on a Christmas classic. Is that 
Zoller National Hard Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Zoller Hardware and Cashers Electric Supply have teamed up to make this the hap, hap, happiest Christmas since Bing Crosby danced with Danny Kaye. These experts of exterior illumination are kicking off a fun, old-fashioned Christmas with a glorious light display that won't shut down the power grid. They are literally a one-stop shop for everything, from plumbing supplies to gifts to decor. You'll find it all at Zoller's Hardware. For more than 20 years, Zoller Hardware and Cashers Electrical Supply have been providing contractors and do-it-yourselfers with everything they need to keep the lights on without frying the cat. Thank you, Zoller Hardware. The Griswolds would definitely be proud. <laughs> Next up, we have Lonesome Valley's float. The Lonesome Valley community was established in 2005. However, the land, the land has belonged to the Jennings family since 1895. It was once home to the Cashers Valley Trout Farm, and, which is now known as Sunburst Trout. Lonesome Valley is a pr private community celebrating family, nature, and simplicity. You guys look great. Best known for their amenities in Canyon Kitchen and Canyon Spa. All Favorite. open to the public. I think both of those will be on my Christmas list. Yes. Ooh, I'll take a couple of gift certificates. Yeah, Sounds there we great. go. Thank you, Lonesome Valley. Next up, we have the Highlands Cashers ha Hospital with Hospital Whoville. Who doesn't love a story? Who doesn't love the story of the Grinch who stole Christmas? Their team has put a twist on this theme this year. They love all the characters equally, but especially the Grinch with his new large heart. In 2023, the Highlands Cashers Hospital restarted their surgical services after being closed for 10 years, which is a big deal around here. They now offer general surgery, orthopedic surgery, and colonoscopies. This holiday season, they'll be hosting a gingerbread house competition and a Christmas tree decorating competition for their staff. And they have some very exciting capital investment projects coming up in 2024. So I love thank those you guys. Great decoration. Thank you, Cashers Hospital. Highlands Cashers Hospital. All right, Sarah, next up we have the Cashers Humane Society. With their float, Finding Forever Homes for the Holidays. For more than a quarter century, the Highlands Cashers Humane Society has rescued, provide, provided compassionate care, and found forever homes for thousands of abandoned and neglected animals. And this holiday season, on their Christmas wish, they encourage you to come help them with Stuff the Stockings, uh, which is where you can drop off some stuff for some uh, of the four-legged friends. And some drop-off locations are the Cashers Valley Pharmacy, Paws on the Mountain, Wolfgang's Bakery, Highland Hiker, Animal Wellness Hospital, and Highland Mountain Paws. So far in 2023, they have taken in nearly 250 wonderful animals. Stop by and see what kind of animals they have today. Thank you very much. Thanks, Cashers Highlands Humane Society. Oh, look at those little guys. Tanya. Thank you. Oh, up next is our Chamber Business Persons our of the Year. Spirit of Community Business Persons, Scott Alderson and Tanya Duncombe. Woo! He's Spirited shy. as always. He's so Spirited shy. as always. He's so if shy. you don't know, Scott and Tanya own Native Prime provi Provisions in the Cashers um, Ingalls uh, Shopping plaza. Center yeah. in the plaza. It's one of my fa favorite places to go. So you can often find and see Drew Scott and I Tanya. there for lunch. 
They've done an incredible job with that new business, um, including just getting some national recognition in some major magazines, one being Garden and Gun Magazine. So congratulations to Scott and Tanya on being a success with the business and for your business persons of the year. Next up, we have a real dynamic duo in the Blue Ridge Junior Appalachian Musicians, also known as JAM, and Cashers Historical Society. The kids are writing, singing, and playing, sort of. The chapter has been established for in, since 20, 2016 and currently has 40 students learning the musical uh, heritage of the area. Yeah. In, uh, in addition to learning instruments like guitar, banjo, mandolin, and the fiddle, they also teach uh, folk dancing, crafts, traditional games, and storytelling. And they believe those are all important skills to recognize our mountain heritage. And it, in addition to jam, that float was also represented by the Cashers Historical Society. So thank you for... A great combination. A great combination. We have... The Bernese Mountain Dog Club of America coming down next with 20 Bernese Mountain Dogs this year. They've been in cashers for 13 years. And did you know, Sarah, that the Bernese Mountain Dogs is named after a town in Switzerland called? Bern. Bern. Switzerland. That's what I've heard. Over They're 20 Bernese dogs. this year. Look how cute. Beautiful dogs. And a Grinch. Thank you, Bernie's Mountain Dog Club of America. Although the weather outside is not quite as bright and shiny. The next float's definitely going to be bright and shiny. It's bright yeah. and shiny. Lots of sunshiny happiness coming down 107, from 107 South with Bright Futures Bright Lights float from the Boys and Girls Club of the Plateau. This year, the Boys and Girls Club of Plateau is rocking their sunglasses because everyone's future at the Boys and Girls Club is bright. As the weather cools down in the mountains, the, their bus will pass through the crossroads, channeling warm vibes of sunny beaches all over. Check out that bright sunshine. Their mission is to enable all young people to reach their full potential as productive, caring, and responsible students. And Sarah, it was a big year for the Boys and Girls Club. In 2023, they broke ground on their new teen club. And coming next year... They're going to be opening a new location in Highlands. Yeah, a that's... second location in January 2024. Very exciting for the students of Highlands. Congratulations. And thanks for being here at Boys and Girls Club of the Plateau. All right, next up we've got our Arts and Culture Advocate of the Year, Barbara Jameson. It's Barbara Jameson. Barbara has led efforts to launch Cashers' public art initiative for public, for public sculptures uh, this year in her work with the Bascom. And we're so grateful. Thank you so much, Barbara, and congratulations. Thank you. Well done, Barbara. Barbara was integral in the campaign to get uh, art installations at both the Slabtown Plaza and uh, outside of the Boys and Girls Club. She also has two additional location Locations in town committed for next year. That's super exciting. Thank you, Barbara. All right, next up, we've got the North Carolina Forest Service and Smokey the Bear. Smokey the Bear. The Forest Service is here. This is the longest running public service campaign in the United States history with Smokey yeah. the Bear. And it's a super amazing. important message to Shen because in 2022, North Carolina had the third most number of wildfires in the entire United States. And nationwide, over 7 million acres of U.S. forests were burned. So what, is, what does Smokey say? Only you can prevent forest fires. That's right. And as we know, we had a pretty dry year, so it's very important to have that campaign. Thank you, Forest Service. All right, coming to the crossroads now is Hiking in a Winter Wonderland, the Highlands Cashers Land Trust. The Land Hi Trust is... Highlighting uh, the wonders of hiking in the wintertime this year. 
The flo their float represents the importance of hiking all year long, which we all know there are so many great public hiking trails in the area. The Holland's Cashers Land Trust is actually one of the oldest land trusts in the United States, having been formed in 1883. And a big announcement they made in 20, and this year, uh, in 2023 was that their team grew for the first time. They now have two full-time staff members dedicated to land stewardship, and they have two full-time staff members dedicated to environmental education and outreach. Their Christmas list would, would include seeing more individuals replacing their non-native landscaping plants with native plants for folks to not mow their lawns as much and introducing native wildflowers to provide a habitat for bees and other pollinators. Thank you, Land Trust. So with our Grand Marshal, having a Grand Marshal this year. We get a fan club. We get a fan club. We have Mary Next Kay stop. Andrews Fan Club pulling their vintage camper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is a nod to her book, Bright Lights, Big Christmas. All the way from Wake Forest, North Carolina, and first time to Cashers. So welcome. Welcome, thank and coming. thank you for supporting Mary Kay Andrews. You know, in the book, the trailer has, is, is named Sammy. But here in the parade, this trailer is named Spammy. Spammy. <laughs> That's a good one. All right. Next, we've got the Valley Garden Club. With Break your life and plant a garden. The Valley Garden Club has been in existence since 1987, and they are responsible for the gardens at the post office, the Point, and McKinney Meadow. Yeah, and they also participated in the Valley, excuse me, in the biannual uh, Joy Garden Tour that was hosted by the Village Green. Their inspiration for their float is gardening will brighten your life. Yes, it will. Thank you, Valley Garden Thanks. Club. Merry Christmas. We've got some of our youngest participants coming down, down the road with the Cashers Valley Preschool float. Where each parent matters and every child is special. Their favorite feature of their float this year is their wonderful snowman and their snowman banners. You know, Ca Sarah, they've been in Cashers for 17 years. Cashers Valley Preschool serves ages two through four-year-old children. And they strive to provide a stimulating atmosphere to develop social, emotional, intellectual, language, and physical motor skills through an integrated curriculum tailored to each individual's unique learning pace and style. And in 2024, they're excited to announce that they will be renovating their playroom and paving their parking lot. Those are two great items to have on your Christmas list. And as a former parent of students of the preschool, it is, they are, do a great job over there. Thanks to all the cute little snowmen. All right, uh, coming up next, we have let's, let's Get Lit. Let's Get Lit. With the Cashers Farmer's Cashers Market and Farmers on the side barbecue. On the side barbecue. You know, Always it's not, a spirited group from the Farmer's Market. It's not sunny out today, but that helps the light shine bright. In their 1969 Ford grain truck, all lit up with holiday cheer with the Cashers, Farmer's Market, and on the side barbecue crew. In 2024, in 2023, they added a 100 foot long track with a LGV Coca Cola model train uh, that served the interior of the shop. The Crawford family and crew have been getting lit at the Crossroads since 1995, providing the town of Cashers with a variety of local goods and delicious barbecue. It's my favorite barbecue. What about yours? Oh, they're delicious. Cuban. My favorite. Oh, the Cuban's good. Cuban's Absolutely. good. Thank you, Cashers Farmer's Market and On the Side Barbecue. They always have the best boys. Drew, I don't want to alarm you, but I think it's snowing. It is snowing. You're, it's not your imagination. Oh, well, it looks like Cashers Valley Resort is getting ready 
to have their ski hill ready for this afternoon. And there's a disco ball attached. Disco snow, got it. Uh -huh. The Cashers Valley Resort in Sapphire, I'm sorry, the Sapphire Valley Resort in Sapphire, North Carolina is home of our, our local ski hill. The fire truck coming down the road is from Lake Toxway Fire and Rescue. Coming through the crossroads next, we've got Friends of Lake Glenville. So, since the Friends of Lake Glenville coordinates the annual lake cleanup in early June, the 4th of July boat parade, and lake fireworks, it must be Christmas, Christmas in, July in July on their pontoon boat. Friends of Lake Glenville is a nonprofit organization of impassioned advocates who volunteer their time, skills, energy, and support to ensure the continued beauty, integrity, safety, and survival of Lake Glenville. And they'd like to thank all of their new and existing memberships, which grew by 25% this year, which is incredible. And uh, they are dedicated to preserving and protecting Lake Glenville for future generations. Thank you very much for all you do. Thank you, friends of Lake Glenville. And we'll see you on the lake on July 5th, 2024 for the fireworks. If you haven't been, you have to put that on your schedule. It's an incredible night. Drew, I think this is going to be the de best doggone Christmas ever, thanks to Mountain Dog Spa. The Mountain Dog Spa Christmas Parade Float showcases the Mountain Dog Spa Academy graduates, demonstrating one of the cool skills they learn called place. Your pet can learn to do place by attending Mountain Dog Spa's Dog Training Academy, too. Look at those good dogs. So they're excited to announce that they are expanding to a second location. The future location will be called Mountain Dog Resort, and it's going to be located just down the street from its current location. They invite you to stay connected with them on their Facebook page, as well as with their podcast, Cashers Canine Connection, uh, for updates on that new location. Thank you, Mountain Dog Spa. Look at those. They're just incredible. They're doing such a great job. Such good dogs. One of our fine nonprofit organizations is next with the Big Brothers Big Sisters of Western North Carolina and their float, It Takes a Little to Be Big. They are branding their float this year in the official colors of Big Brothers Big Sisters in green, black, and white. And they are being hosted today by Black Bear Landscaping. It takes a good team to, to run an organization like Big Brothers Big Sisters. You know, in 2024, they hope to get more seasonal residents involved. It's a very small time commitment that can make a lifelong change in a kid's life. And they're hoping to expand that in 2024. And currently, they're seeking new volunteers to be big, especially for nine boys who have been on their wait list for over a year and several girls that are on their wait list. Big Brothers Big Sisters ignites the power and promise in youth through professionally supported one-on-one -on -one mentorship. Be sure to reach out to them if you have any interest in participating. All right, and now we welcome to the crossroads. Africa awaits. In the southern hemisphere, Christmas is during the peak of summer. So this year, Africa awaits brings you the peak of what is a sunny summer Christmas, what a sunny summer Christmas is like on safari. Naturally bright and sunny, celebrate Christmas a whole new way with Africa awaits. When Alistair and Laura in their vintage vehicle representing Africa awaits here in Cashers. And they're excited that they've opened a new location here in town, just located, located just behind Bucks. So go see them and plan your next vacation. Yeah. 
All right, we've got I'm... Alan Tate, Pat Allen Realty Group, with what? Alan Tate's elves. It's Mrs. Claus. She is adorned in warmth and festive cheer. She wants everyone to know that although Santa makes the toys, she makes the rules. Allen Tate was established in 1957, and they're the nation's number one privately owned real estate group and, and probably holding the number one spot in the Carolinas. Since 2023, their office has, had, uh, has extended their locations on the Highlands Cashers Plateau to numerous locations, including Highlands and Cashers, and in between. All right, Sarah, we're now welcoming Carolina Outdoor Lighting. With their float, the night before Christmas. Carolina Outdoor Lighting is the company that makes the night before Christmas and all night shine with their beautifully designed outdoor lighting system, serving cashers in all surrounding Western North Carolina area. Their favorite part of Christmas is this parade, so they jumped at the opportunity to participate this year, and we're so glad they did was the night before Christmas. And they've got some sweet little ones on the, on the float with their stockings hung with care. Thank you, Carolina Outdoor Lighting. All right, now we're welcoming Blue Ridge School's Charlie Brown Christmas. Much like Charlie Brown's tree, Blue Ridge might be small, but it's the best thing around. The Blue Ridge School staff and students are celebrating the holiday season with a throwback to simpler times when Charlie Brown was everyone's favorite guy to spend Christmas with. Blue Ridge School is a pre-K-3 through 6th grade public school as part of the Jackson County Public Schools. And being a part of this Christmas parade is one of the best parts of the holiday season for them. I agree. Thank you, Blue Ridge School. You know, we've got some dedicated community people <laughs> hanging out in this weather, marching yes. down the street, sopping wet, but they're here to Teachers are, are amazing Teachers folks are anyway. Best. Thank you. But when they're out in this rain for the Christmas parade, it takes it to a whole new level. So, Sarah, we've got a little lull in the parade. So, so why don't we go over and, go and say hello to our judges? Say hi to our judges. Oh, no. It's your time. So uh, let's introduce e introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Serenity Richards. I'm your local public librarian. Thanks for coming out in this dreary weather, y'all. Are we having a good time? I'm Sean Cronin. I'm your local volunteer. That's why I'm here today. Uh, hope everybody's staying dry. <laughs> Jill Katz, everybody's a winner for showing up today. I'm from Crossroads Custard and the current president of our Rotary here in Cashers. Well, the, our three judges are here to, to check out all of our floats because there are a number of awards that are being offered today. Namely, the Cri Cashers Christmas Star, which is the best float, the Elfin Magic Award, which has a, a float featuring children, the Holiday Spirit Award, which is the most enthusiastic participants. The Sol Tin Soldier Award, Best Marching Award. Leave it to Josh Crawford to interrupt. We've got one of our Spirit of Community Award winners, Miss Lauren Bennett. Educator, Educator of the Year. Of the year. Charter School on the Goodwood and, Express and her Santa Claus and Josh Crawford with get with Goodwood Firewood. As you can see, Josh has created this beautiful wood produce truck out of firewood to this highlight his imagination and creativity, just like Lauren embodies in Summit Charter School. Mrs. Bennett teaches uh, has taught. All right. so, Lauren has done about everything. Yeah, she's done about everything. It's two school. pages of notes, and that's why they just stuck together. But yeah. uh, she's a fourth grade teacher, a mental health mental health counselor, a high school uh, high school principal, a college counselor, and director of fun. So she covers all the bases, and we'd like to congratulate her on being the educator of the year. And thank you to Cashers Firewood for hosting her. 
And of course, the farmer's market, Golden Retrievers. All right, next up we've got Mountain Stone, Quartz and Stone. They're a supplier, fabricator, and installer here in Cashers for over eight years with over 20 years of, in, of industry experience. They've had significant growth with over three times uh, the growth in the last three years, and they will continue to grow in 2024. We thank you for being out here at the Christmas parade today. Thank you, Mountain Stone, Quartz, and Granite. All right, and coming through now, we have Casher's School of the Arts. Life is short, art is long. The dance is ancient as human dance is as ancient as humanity. So let your jingle bells rock. The Casher School of the Arts was founded in 2020 to promote arts education for all, from watercolor painting to the waltz. Every season, they believe every season in Casher is special, but their favorite time of the year is when folks gather with friends and family, joyous hearts, gratitude, and an overflowing of goodwill around the holidays. I can't, I can't think, I, I don't think I could agree more. They've really made a great impact on this community in just their short time being, being established. Oh, and a dance routine. They, yeah, they're doing the Jingle Bell Rock. They are. Look at them go. Sarah, I think we should go join them. I wish they had given me the, the heads up that I would have I would have trained for this. They're doing a great job. I'm trying to pick it up, Drew. I'm trying to trying to figure it out. I think you're doing great. Thank you to the Cashers Arts Council. Thank you, Cashers School of the Arts. Well done, ladies. Well done. Everybody give them a round of applause. We've got Whiteside Brewing in the Wells Hotel coming right up. With Merry Father Christmas. Christmas. Beer Christmas. Yeah. Father Beer, yeah. Father Beer Christmas. It is. With his triton? What do we have that? What kegs is that? Of, it's reindeer kegs and his chalice and his orb. That's a whole different way to, <laughs> whole different way to fill your sleigh. Merry Christmas. With, Thank you. With beer from Whiteside Brewing in the Wells Hotel. <laughs> Got the Glenville Cashers Rescue Squad, one of their many vehicles to help keep us safe. The Glenville Cashers Rescue Squad was formed in 1964, and they provide emergency medical services and uh, search and rescue for southern Jackson County. And they are super excited about their new location on Highway 64, which will open next year. Drew, is that what I think it is? I think it is. I think Could it be? I think that's the big guy in red. Could it be Santa himself? Santa has arrived at the crossroads. Let's and everybody been... greet him with a big round of applause. And he has been reunited with Mrs. Claus. They are. They are being guided by our very own Cashers Fire Glenville oh. Fire Department. I 
been good this year, Mr. and Mrs. Claus, I promise. Merry Christmas. Thank you to the Cashers, Glenville Fire Department for also keeping us safe. We want, we want to thank everybody for coming out on this very rainy uh, Very Christmas rainy day, night. but I think we made the most of it, and I think all the participants did an incredible job. Yes. I saw some wonderful, touching tributes to Thomas. I this think Thomas would heart. be proud that we persevered yes, and, we yes, we and did. made it happen this, uh, for him today. And thank you to everyone who came out, stood on the streets, and, and watched, and collected candy. Please be safe going home and Merry Christmas. Drive safely everybody. Thank you and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Hello, this is Rick with the High South Media Network. Thank you for tuning in and watching the 48th Annual Cashers Christmas Parade live from the Cashers Crossroads in Cashers, North Carolina. We want to thank our local sponsors, Ace Handyman Services. Remember, not everyone is a natural handyman. If you need any help around the house, and they do serve Western North Carolina, by the way, not just Cashers and Sapphire. Give Ace Handyman Services a call. Uh, one of our anchors of the community is right here at the crossroads, Buck's Coffee Shop. They have been an anchor since they opened several years ago. I think we gave you a view of them uh, earlier in the in the broadcast. Buck's Coffee Shop, just a great place to, to meet friends, have coffee, tea, uh, and uh, some light, uh, light fare. And Appalachian Golf Cars, personally have dealt with these guys too. Just a great... Uh, golf cart dealer it's located about three miles here from the crossroads Appalachian golf cars they also help uh, supply golf carts for the staff here during the parade and also High South Ventures LLC High South Ventures creates the High South Media Network we do offer live streaming services on our websites wnclive.com as well as live.thehighsouth.com High South Media Network also includes Sapphire Valley Resort.com, Ski Sapphire Valley, High South Adventures, and HighSouthRentals.com. Check those websites out or call us. Maybe we can stream your next event. And last but certainly not least is another anchor of the community as well as another anchor on the crossroads is the Cashers Farmers Market. Uh, since 1995, these guys have been just providing great local and regional produce. We particularly like to be able to stop by and just pick up a meal ready to go, maybe frozen, but wonderfully local made goods that are just delicious. Uh, and, uh, and again, on the side barbecue, great barbecue, stop by, pick up a meal, picnic tables around, or we'll take it to wherever you're staying. But again, another anchor and supporter of Cashers and the Cashers Christmas Parade is Cashers Farmers Market. And we certainly could not have pulled off uh, streaming the Cashers Christmas Parade without a great internet connection. And this year that came from Open Broadband. Open Broadband has been in the Cashers area a little over a year. Great service. Their local director and, uh, and actually feed on the street guys, Daniel, did a great job actually mounting some special antennas for us to make sure we had a great signal here at the crossroads. So if you need internet service in their, uh, in their particular service areas, give them a call, look them up. Open Broadband, highly recommended. And so, at this very special time of year, the Cashers community was determined to celebrate Christmas together with our friends and family members at our annual parade. We were also determined to remember our friend, Thomas Talby. He never met a stranger and will never be forgotten. So until next year, goodbye from the crossroads in Cashers, North Carolina, and have a Merry Christmas.